Welcome, everybody. It's Surf's Up time. Who doesn't love a Volkswagen Beetle? Well, I love a Volkswagen Beetle. When we were as a kid growing up in the uh, early 70s, we, we had a 1970 Volkswagen Beetle. It was a convertible. It was awesome. I can remember driving around in that thing and just the smell of it because there's only one car that smells like a Volkswagen Beetle. It's not a bad smell, but it's got its own kind of odor. Must have been like the horse hair or something they put in the seats, but I don't know what it was, but only Beetles sound like, smell like that. <clears throat> later, later in life, I ended up getting another 70 Beetle. I got one that had low mileage on it. Rust-free car. It was pretty awesome. But I remember that that was the first thing I noticed when I got in the car was the smell, and all of a sudden... I was six years old again, just remembering the smell of the car that we that we had when I was a kid. And the one we had, it was it was kind of a pale yellow. The one here in the picture, this is a 1958 Beetle that I'm drawing for a friend of mine, Roz. And uh, but ours was a 70, bigger engine, and it was a convertible, which was pretty cool. And I remember riding around with my sister Sherry and her friends. We put the top down, and I'd sit like on the top of the back seat, like it wasn't like there was no seat belts or anything back there we just said sit on the top of the back seat and there was like a little loop on each side that you could sit and kind of hold on to and, and grab on to so i'd be sitting on the top of the seat we'd drive and we'd go up to bubbling brook in westwood massachusetts which was a um, ice cream place it was pretty cool and other things with that car i can remember is oh man my brother dave would let me he, we'd be driving and i'd sit on his lap and, and turn the wheel you know, he'd be doing the, the shifting and the gas and the brake and everything, but I could sit there on the thing and sometimes he'd drive and just turn it off and we'd be coasting and I could steer it and stuff. It was pretty, I mean, it was like really, really cool. By the end of its life, though, and it must have been, I'm trying to think of when he sold, it was probably the late 70s, 77, 78, right around there. And I mean, it was so rusty that you could see the, the ground through the floor, you know, as you're driving down the road. I can't remember if you threw an old license plate or just pieces of metal or a stop sign or something in the back there we had, you know, to keep us from falling through. And he ended up selling the car and um, because it needed so much work, it needed a whole floor pan and everything like that. But now it would be totally worth doing because a 70 Volkswagen convertible is worth restoring. They're worth enough money that you could do it. But anyway, that's my little Volkswagen bug story. This was a drawing I did a while back and I uh, you know, hope you enjoyed my little trip down memory lane here and if you're looking to have something done on your car or by, your, or by me to uh, do a drawing of your car or something, hit me up, Ken at madkstudio.com and uh, we can talk about it. Until then, you know, keep on uh, surfing. Hang 10. Bruh.